Hello everybody, Swift here again, and today we're playing Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. The game is a bullet hell and bullet hell, which means we're gonna be exploding screen and filling it with projectiles, and this also has mining as it is thematically appropriate with Deep Rock Galactic IP. I mean, that is the game. So uh, let's get into it right away. This is gonna be a mini series or a short video series. I'm gonna see. Maybe I'm gonna be doing two videos per day until I get bored of this and then we trade back to one video per day. We're gonna see how we're gonna actually handle this. For now, I just want to showcase the game itself. So we're gonna just play on the first level. Level. Um, okay, I mean, the game is going to be screaming a bit, so hopefully my editor is going to fix that. But anyway, let's go into the first level, the first stage, the first difficulty, and just showcase the game itself. So you have character classes, as in Deep Rock Galactic. Also, you have maps, uh, as in Deep Rock Galactic. And you also have difficulties, as in Deep Rock Galactic. And uh, let's go into... Uh, run with, uh, I would say let's go with the scout as that's the basic class. These have different stats and also different starting weapons and also different passives. The scout has, it starts with movement Maxi Tree, which is a joke, and he just gets a machine gun weapon. The gunner gets some shots. Uh, whenever he fires 100 bullets, he gets some damage up, and then uh, the engineer can find constructs or something. Let's go for now for the scout, and uh, yeah, let's run into this and see how it's gonna go. Now, the idea of the game is the following. You're supposed to wait until this line up the very top goes through. In the meantime, you will be doing objectives and you will be mining gold and nitra. Gold over here is this golden resource. Gold is used for re-rolling. Nitra is mainly used for upgrading weapons in the shopping phase. The shopping phase is after we beat this line here at the top, as I said. Uh, we found mining speed. I would say mining speed is always nice. We also found a paint job. Let's you imagine your weapon is now a lot. Free tier increase levels by two. This is not really that useful other than the fact that there are keystone passives that you get the more you level up the weapon. But I'm gonna level up the weapon anyway. So let's go with mining speed as that's good. And let's go into mining said nitra. I really feel like the sound effects are a bit too loud, but that is very irrelevant right now. Actually, let me just reduce this a little bit and then everything else is gonna happen in post-processing from my editor. So we're gonna see how this is gonna go. Come on, 25, just to be, you know, round. As I'm human too, and I do also enjoy round things. So you can mine through pretty much everything you find. Oh, look at this little, uh, what is this? This is a loot bug. You kill this thing and it gives you nitra and gold. Once again, gold is used for re-rolling and getting global upgrades. That means upgrades for the character. And then the nitra is used for weapon upgrades. We found XP gain, status effect damage, increase all damage over... Uh, over time from acid, electrical, and fire. I don't have these effects. Increase max life, who cares? I'm gonna have a XP gain. As always, in case you knew the channel, we definitely want to get XP gain, money gain, whatnot. Now, the secondary thing you're supposed to do in this game is get side objectives. The specific side objective we have right now is here at the top right. Uh, once again, we got a level, two levels on the weapon, a reload spin the weapon, fire the weapon. Let's go with reload spin the weapon, as this game has bullets that you run out of. This little line here at the bottom is how many bullets have the magazine. I'm not really sure if it's loading right now, if it's unloading. Uh, but when you run out of bullets, it starts regenerating your bullets, and then you start shooting through them again. So I would say let's go reload, and it is actually still in full. So as I tried to say, we have a side quest that's at the top right all the time. Today's side quest, I mean in this specific zone, the side quest is not even zone in this act, I guess. The side quest is to get these things called Morokite. So most of the time it's just to find two of these and you're done. Uh, now, as I said, there are events that are happening throughout this, the time you're in this zone. Right now the event we already have set up is getting a passive. That's over there. It's an airdrop. We got a new weapon. We got a cryo grenade, a Mio classic, and a Jaggerick boomstick. Boomstick! Uh, by the way, you can see down here how many of these are close to what you're using. Uh, targets highest HP. Shoots a single carbon piercing bullet. Targets highest HP enemy. Kinetic damage. Close range shotgun that deals massive damage. Target close enemy. And then the cold damage. We're gonna go with the sniper as I see. It has four similar keywords as this one. And this is three. I guess the difference is that this is spray and this is precise. I guess this is precise. That's the one difference. Let's go with this. So we have higher chance of finding... Some more stuff. Now, this used to be you just get an airdrop wherever the game decided to. Now, you actually have to mine it out so it comes and drops from the air. Although, this doesn't make sense uh, lore wise because in the normal game, you just spawn it. Um, anyway, I guess we have to break this crystal. Yep, now it's cleared. And now we're just waiting inside the zone for this to spawn. And when this drops, it kills all the opponents on the drop landing side. Boom, like it does in the normal game. And let's get our first passive. So you either can get increase the healing grant and level up. Who cares? Explode in a ring of fire dealing damage and burning nearby enemies when you take damage. Through it's cooldown. Who cares? You get a small chance to find gold when mining any kind of rock. We're gonna go here. Chance to find gold. Then we got a magnet by mistake, but it's okay. Epic, 20% damage to all projectile weapons, or 15% damage to the specific weapon I have. Obviously, we're gonna go with the 20% damage. I got another level, 6% uh, crit chance, 9% XP gain, let's go 9% XP gain. And uh, let's uh, mine these. These are meta progression, by the way. So I just got a little bit of meta progression, and let's continue the game. You know, most of the things you're mining, other than gold and nitro, are meta progression. 9% crit chance is pretty high. Let's take that. And these red ones here are healing. And that is that, man, and that is that. I just explained the whole game, I think. 
So uh, let's do. As I, let's go. As I said, this is gonna be a mini series. We found a legendary 50% reload speed on my sniper. I'm gonna take a legendary. In general, legendaries are leagues ahead than the rest. Like uh, the difference, epic legendaries, as far as I have seen in this game, are as powerful as commons in comparison to epics. So let's say common is 10% damage and epic is 25% damage. Legendary is gonna be 50% damage. So uh, let's see what we're gonna get here. 50% reload speed on my my gun. I would say I want to fully level this thing up as it has 50,000 levels and keywords that it can gain. So let's do that. I also have a little uh, mining drone here called Bosco that helps us out with DPSing. The game has gone through a bunch of iterations. At this point, it isn't really access. It used to also have upgrades for Bosco when you leveled up. Like, th the game is changing constantly, which is really good in my opinion. They should always pay attention to what works, what doesn't. For example, that mining drone thing, the landing drone thing, where you have to mine out the area around it and you have sit on it, so it drops. That's better. Although it doesn't make sense in the lore of the game, as I said, it is guaranteed better in my opinion. They also made it so that uh, back in the day you used to be able to kite around the boss so that you can farm which I'm doing right now which I will always be doing but they added a mechanic where enrage happens and it even tells you that enrage happens which in my opinion is really good the fact that they tell you is really good I think enrage always was a thing I don't care about getting damaged a little bit from the boss here there is healing on the map anyway uh, collect 2000 gold is an achievement we got it was a very sizable thing and I just killed the boss by mistake so I'm now gonna rotate over to pick up the XP it drops. And there are also opponents here that are explode on, on go close. Exploded on go close. Fire rate or damage on everything. I'm gonna say damage on everything. And we're gonna go close so that these explode again. And now you have to uh, get to the dropping pod. Otherwise you're dead. You instantly lose 5% mining speed. I'm gonna take that. Mining speed in general is pretty important in my book. Let's go mining through here. Also, maybe get a bit of healing until we go to the landing drop. We have a little bit of time. Might as well mine whatever because we have a chance to get gold or something. And off we go. Off we go to Act 2. Oh, I didn't do the side objective. Wow, that was a very failed attempt in my opinion. The side objective gives you a bunch of gold and a bunch of nitro to buy. This is the shopping phase. 18 nitro for reload speed, 25%. I'm going to take that. 40 nitro, 15% damage. I'm going to take that too. And we're out of nitro. Now I can only buy gold. With gold, you buy uh, global upgrades, as you can see. So we're gonna go 9% crit chance and 6% reload speed and everything, I guess, and that's that. You can also reroll and heal, but I'm never gonna use 30 gold for healing. I mean, 23 gold for crit damage is better than 30 gold for healing. Let's go. And three loot bugs are right away on the area. Off we go breaking those. This time the quest is a bit easier. Collect Bolo Cap, and there are also side quests, by the way. Get nine levels on the scout, collect 2000 Nitra, and upgrade the M1000 Classic to level 12. These are side objectives that just unlock stuff in the game, as the game has the classic meta progression of power scaling, you know, the meta progression that gives you strength, and there is also the meta progression that gives you unlocks, like most of these games do. Uh, I mean, mostly roguelikes do that, not... Uh, I mean, specifically, Bullet Heavens definitely do that. The fact that you unlock and then you also power up both of those meta progressions are part of this genre. We're gonna pick up all my little bolo caps, that's what they are called. Well, we rotate around and we got a swarm coming in. Swarm is just a bunch of opponents and a bunch of exploders. So not really something dangerous. And we got level 25% reload speed on my sniper. I'm okay with taking that. Let's go pick up gold. In general, it's very important to pick these up. And this is how you die in this game. Literally, literally, um, greed. Greed kills you in this game easily because you run yourself into a corner that has gold or something and then you just die because you get super duper surrounded. Let's go ahead and pick that thing up up there. I, I know that there is a bullet cup. You can see the mini-map and understand where is what, but I also know that there are more than what you need to have on the map. So we're going to take that and we're going to get our good rewards. I also want to see how much these rewards are, to be honest. I'm trying to mine up the passive here. In general, it's very good to get the passive as fast and as early as possible. Here we go. We found how much? 3D2 gold. So we lost about 3D2 gold the previous area. 10 mining speed is really good in my opinion. We're gonna take that and let's drop the thing on them. Boom, got them all. And we also get a passive. So a chance to find Nitro when mining rocks, heal more or XP when getting damaged. I'm gonna go with Nightshaw when mining rocks, which means power by the way. And the choices are uh, the jury rigged Boomstick, which is the shotgun again. The High Volt Thunderbird, which is defensive drone that damage nearby enemies and quick firing weapons that shoot in four directions, the Zukov. I would say let's go here as this once again has more keywords matching up and lining up. So might as well go with a full-on kinetic build, I guess, is what we're going to go with. And let's continue mining those nodes. And we got see these new Jadis nodes. And I'm also seeing some loot bugs in there and even more Jadis over here. 
So let's go ahead and pick those up so we get our meta progression and in general power up the future runs in case I make a series out of it or in case I play a lot more of it. We want to definitely be able to have that power. So right now when I'm mining, I'm getting gold and nitra. That means in general I should be mining whatever I can find. The best case scenario here would be I get some legendary upgrade on mining speed, which is just gonna make me eat through everything as fast as I possibly can. That is what I would like to do. Also, this line, this here filling up, as far as I know, is time-based and kill-based. So the more you kill, the more this lines up. I'm not exactly sure about that. I cannot really watch for this, but I'm pretty sure about it. Mm, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Let's continue mining. There are even more loot bucks and even more healing over there. So in general, it's not really that dangerous to get hit. 25% fire rate on my main weapon, I'm gonna say yes. And we got our first passive. So I can either go targets the enemy with the highest HP, which is irrelevant, as right now it's targeting the closest enemy. I don't need that. Salvage, why would I salvage? Uh, or 15% damage and 25% reload speed. So it just gives you two level ups pretty much, but it's not exactly a level up. Uh, I'm gonna get the two level ups, but it's not exactly a level up. That's what I'm gonna go with. And let's continue mining the loot bugs and Jadis. I mean, uh, meta progression is for you to become more powerful in general. And then also these ones are for you to get more powerful in this specific run. And the elite appeared, so we need to pay attention to that. As the moment the elite dies, we are out of the zone. Right now we have a decent amount of resources. I would say we are missing a bit of nitra. That would be nice to have. But at the same time, it's also who cares. As uh, the main purpose of all of these are, is powering you up. There is a gold here, a nitra here. Very nice, very nice. We will be going into a very good shopping phase with 126 coins gold. I mean, I think gold is a bit more important than Nitra in this game. Uh, in the normal game, Nitra gives you bullets, pretty much. Like, you get your resources back. In this game, you don't have bullets to be afraid to lose. 5% mining speed, 15% real speed. I'm not gonna get 5% mining speed. I can easily get a gold one. And I found a magnet over there, which is really lucky in general, as you don't really get that many magnets in this game. Need to go over to the left, pick up the magnet, and let's run over there. And I just got like 50,000 levels. So we got for movement speed, 15% attack speed. Uh, there is a quest to telling you to get 50 movement speed. I'm not gonna do it right now. Let's go for attack speed. Fire it on the shotgun or crit damage, reload speed on the shotgun. Let's go reload speed on the shotgun. And damage on the common weapon, damage or reload speed on the shotgun. Mm, I mean, I want to level both of these up. Let's get the sniper first. Let's get the sniper fully leveled up if I can do so. 15% pickup range. I'm gonna say yes to that. Pickup range is always a thing in this channel, in case you're new. Uh, let's mine a bit of random nodes just to maybe, maybe get a little bit more nitra and a little bit more gold. I'm gonna say at the 15, at the 10 seconds mark, yeah, I should start running now. As there is a good chance you're gonna be left behind. I've been left behind like three to four times while I was doing the test runs. So, um, it's, it's a bit weird. Off we go. Ooh, you see, the, the timer is a bit weird as to when it decides you're inside. So we got the 35% damage on the sniper, 25% reload speed, and reload speed. Let's go reload speed on my main weapon. Uh, let's go damage on the sniper, and reload speed on the shotgun. No, I'm gonna reload this. Uh, re re refresh. Actually, it'll reload speed on everything. Roll them. Uh, damage on my main weapon is what I would say. I could level this up. That's the purpose of leveling up, by the way. You get the nodes faster. And we're gonna go damage 25%. I don't have money for anything else. Uh, but I can definitely re-roll into finding passives for everything. 50% damage, 35... Oh, come on, man, I want to pack this. I'm gonna say crazy pickup range and damage to everything. And I'm gonna leave the 39 gold for the next round. There isn't a reason to reload here and not be able to use anything. We have three more rounds in front of us anyway. I mean, two more rounds of shopping, because in the final zone you can't really go back to shopping. And we found the same quest as previously, which is the bolo cap. Upgrade the classic 12 levels. That might or might not happen. I can't really promise anything. I mean, the main idea is you will mainly level up one weapon, and right now I'm doing that with my main weapon. And, uh, yep, I got that. Let's go with damage on my main weapon again. I'm just trying to get whatever is the highest possible level upgrade. Like, if I find the 50% damage on the shotgun that I haven't really leveled that much up, I will take that 50% damage. I will not be like, oh no, but it's not an upgrade for the weapon I am. No, 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 we're gonna take that. I'm just getting always value for money, in my opinion. In general, the best possible upgrade ever in this game, as far as I'm concerned, is luck. There is a upgrade that is luck, there is a stat that's called luck, and it gives you higher chance things. And uh, you can also get luck through meta progression, which I have invested a little bit into. And that is why I'm getting legendaries and epics, because I do have that starting luck. Otherwise, when I started playing this game, uh, I guess about an hour ago, I was only getting commons. So, uh, this is, yeah, the footage you're seeing right now, the footage you're seeing right now is what you're gonna be seeing after you play the game for about an hour, is what I would say. 
Uh, let's pick up the bolo caps, which is uh, the quest of the zone. And let's continue. I'm finding some nitro over there. Uh, nitro is very, very, very important, if not more important than gold. I, I just said in the beginning previously that I like gold more because gold gives you upgrades that are global, like mining speed or movement speed or crit chance, 25% damage, uh, while Nitro gives you weapon upgrades. But the reason I'm saying right now that Nitro is arguably better than find Nitro when mining, find XP, and no, we're gonna go find Nitro when mining. Uh, the reason why I'm saying Nitro is arguably better is because Nitro gives you level ups on weapons. 20% reload speed on everything against 15 on this. No, not everything. Medium weapons, but I mean, everything. <laughs> medium weapons and everything might as well be the same wording. Let's go Nitro. Yeah, as I said, so Nitro, because Nitro gives you upgrades on the weapons in the shopping zone, you can get those, uh, you know, key, keystone, key point. I guess keystone passes is what I would say. A wording used on Path of Exile, but... I mean, it, it really fits. <laughs> so let's go on. I leveled up. And we got my final weapon, which is either the boomerang, electric boomerang, or I would say let's go with Zukov thing. Light spray kinetic projectile weapon, which has a bunch of keywords similar to that. This little symbol here, as far as I know, is the fact that I am missing the quest, right? I'm pretty sure that's the fact that I'm missing the quest. Go close to these guys, explode on death. Boom, 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 boom. All of those exploded. I'm running in there, picking up my XP. Explode those two. If damage or pick up range, I'm gonna go 15% damage. And we've got a second passive. So change the damage to electrical. Electrical makes it so that it has a little bit of AoE. Or get damage and lose fire rate. But get piercing shots. Adds more damage in piercing. I'm gonna get this. Piercing shots should increase the damage in the first place, as far as I'm concerned. 10% damage on everything, or reload speed on everything. Not on main, my main weapons. Uh, I would say my main dam damage on my main weapons. Although reload speed is definitely good too. And let's continue going on. Let's definitely pick up the bolo caps. This time, not forgetting the quest. I'm only missing one bolo cap right now. Let's go with meta progress. And even more meta progress over there. One man through this. I think mining speed is very, 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 very important because it builds in so many things. 9 movement speed to 45. Let's go 45 pickup range, honestly. Although 9 movement speed is cool and all, but pickup range. And like the legendary pickup range is something like 80%. Although I'm not really sure right now. I'm just um, recalling from memory. See some nitro over there and the blast ball caps over here too. Boom. Oh, this is such a rich zone. I got so much gold and nitra and gold over here again. 10% damage, 10% reload speed. I'm gonna go damage on my main weapon. So I can get the final keystone passive before um, before the game's over, honestly. Let's run it up and pick up the Nitra. Nice. Also, it's good to try to min-max what exactly you're mining. Because you can mine, like, almost a 5x5 five five in front of you. Uh, another 5x5, five 5x3x3 five three three in front of you. So it is pretty important to uh, try to min-max what you're mining. 15% damage on my main weapon. Definitely take that. I should also stop clicking this fast. There is a good chance I'm gonna skip or miss something important. I'm mining through this just to get a little bit more resources. Pretty sure there should be something around here. I mean, healing is there, but that's real one. Eh, meta progression, but I'm not gonna be fast enough to get that. Let's run into the zone. And off we go. Off we go! Let's see what the final upgrade is gonna be. 5% mining speed. Come on, man. 30% reload speed in the medium weapons. We're gonna take the 77 coins is a lot. Fitness and fire rate on another weapon. Maybe, yes. Might as well do the quest where I'm leveling these up. Also get a little bit of mining speed. Fire rate on my secondary weapon. 10% damage. 50 health. Who cares? 25 damage. 3% fire rate on everything. We're gonna go fire on everything. We're gonna go there to the sniper. I don't have... I do have reroll. And 49 is enough to buy a good thing. And I found a good thing. 24 for 35 reload speed on my main weapon. And also damn. Oh, you know, damage and damage. With 14, I can only buy one of these. I'm obviously gonna go with my main weapon. Three more pips are left and three more pips. This is four more pips to just unlock the thing. It's not even gonna give anything to us. So let's go. And we have one more full zone to get this done. So we are good to go. I'm gonna go left and then right. And we got the third side objective. There are only three side objectives as of this time. Or unless, or unless there are more that I haven't unlocked yet. And right now, this we have seen all three. The one is mine that thing on the wall which you need to find two nodes and i only found one then the other thing is find six flowers but they're rarer to find uh, i would say let's go with a boomstick reload speed and the last one yeah it's six flowers or 12 mushrooms i think six flowers is the easiest because it, they are supposed to be harder to find but you can still find two back to back and also finding six rare things is easier than finding 12 common things and we're done with the quest already easy enough 
I'm just mining through these because once again we have a chance to find nitro and money and whatnot. And uh, when I say money, I mean gold. But I should try to skip ahead to find meta progression or straight up nitro or gold on the wall. In the window, in the wall. Haha. <laughs> Dish, 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 dish. I'm not sure if you even are getting the reference, do you? By the way, this game has a sentence that you're supposed to always say. Do you know what the sentence is? If you do, spam it in the comment down below so we can see who is knowledgeable and who not. And if you are one that is not knowledgeable, then you should fake being knowledgeable. So go down to comments, see what the sentence is and also spam it. 50% damage to literally all my weapons as this is kinetic. Very nice. At this point, we are powerful enough to literally machine gun everything down. Uh, I would say, I, I was calculating about doing a 3D minute video on this, so if this run is faster than 3D minutes, I will most likely do a second run on the spot. Therefore also showcasing another area, and also showcase another character. Hopefully that's gonna be a fast one, because I have some real life stuff that I have to take care of. Specifically I want to go to my dancing lessons, as I am doing some dancing, in case you have, in case you are following uh, my random thoughts and um, I guess things I'm saying on other videos. I think I mentioned that I had to go to some dancing festival about two days ago. So uh, let's continue. Let's rush through mining. As I said, we're gaining some slowly. Look at this nitros and gold dropping. Boom, boom, boom. Plus one, plus two, plus one, plus two, plus one, plus two. Swarm is incoming. Okay, we're gonna just skip through again. And let's rush over. I don't care about killing a pawn specifically. 30 pickup range, 15 crit damage. We're gonna go pickup range. Is what I would say. I think pickup range is better. I don't, I'm not sure how much pickup range I specifically have. It would be nice to have an option that says, you know, make pickup range visible. And it could be a, a very, very light loop around us where you can just... I mean, not there is not a single game that does that as far as I know. 12% crit chance is really high. I'm gonna get 12% crit chance. That seems powerful to me. Uh, and I think, yeah, I think killing opponent does make this go up faster. Yep, I can now guarantee that is happening. Break this, break that. I see some loot bugs over there, and I'm also seeing mental progression. The swarms coming in. I mean, the thing is that swarms come in, you kill them fast. Uh, let's go with reload speed on the boomstick, just to get the quest going. In case I can get 12 levels on the boomstick, might as well get it done. Whoop, I got hit for no reason, but that's okay. Whoop, so many levels, and a drop on the pod. And uh, I would say let's go with damage. And let's also get an artifact. Find gold when you mine. Experiencing damage or healing on level. We're gonna go find gold when you mine. I think those artifacts are the best. The opponents are just straight up exploding on the bottom screen. Fire. 10 damage to everything or 15% damage on one specific weapon. I'm gonna say... Let's go 10% on everything. That specific weapon is not gonna get max level. There is no chance whatsoever. The other thing I have have a chance. This is... Is this level 4? Now, yeah, only these two have a chance to get fully leveled out. I would like, prefer not killing the boss right now. I would like to mine a bit to get some things going. Reload speed on my main weapon. I'm gonna set my secondary weapon, the sniper that is. Let's say yes to that. And let's rush up over here, which seems to be an area I haven't explored yet. There are also some loot bugs, which is free nitro. I mean, it's four nitro and two nitro and two gold or something. It's four resources and they're semi-random. I have not, I've never seen it just drop for Nitra, so that's why I'm saying semi-random. It's either through 3 and 1 or 2 and 2. I really enjoy that you can just go close to these and they just explode on death. Try to avoid killing the main boss, as always, so I get a little bit more time. Although the game, as I said, does become harder and harder the more you stay in the zone. And the boss is dead. Forced on us, as it's an auto-butler and because it came too close, it has died. I'm gonna wait here to get the meta progression in for damage or damage. I'm gonna say damage on the weapon I'm actually using. Let's go. Maybe I should do the side quest, the quest of getting the sniper done and dealt with. But eh, whatever. Let's go slowly over to the mining zone, which uh, I will go through the stones to pick up a couple more nitra. You know, at the end of the day, previously I literally was missing five nitra or five gold. I don't remember exactly to get what I wanted. Let's actually go up here. <laughs> Whoopsie, that was fast. 150 and 150, 101. We have a lot of gain to be gained. So, these are not the weapons I'm using. Uh, let's reroll these, honestly. And 25% fire rate. And the choices are the following. Either 100% damage, 100% reload speed, but all other weapons lose 100% damage with 100% reload speed. Or 150% damage and lose 50% fire rate. Greatly increase the damage at the cost of fire rate. I would say this. I mean, it's the main weapon I'm using, even if it makes the worst less... Uh, the, the, the worst less... The, the rest worse, is what I tried to say. I uh, roll these to maybe find a weapon. 25% fire rate to my main one. 25% damage on everything. 
Chips and crit chance. Uh, let's start leveling up whatever, honestly. The legend the armor, that's useless for us. 15% damage is cool. 15% damage. I level up the weapon, I'm not using that much. I could. 18 plus 18. No, I'm gonna roll these. Where's the sniper, man? Are you serious? I'm gonna roll again. We're about to go to the final zone anyway, so... I don't have... Why is this not red? That's a bug, obviously. Uh, yeah, let's level up the boomstick then. And that's it. We don't have anything anymore. So now we just hope that I'm gonna get... I guess three levels on my sniper. The chance of that actually happening is pretty slim. But one can only hope, man. One can only hope. At this point, there is no reason to mine Nitra. Uh, gold is reasonable, because gold is also re-rolling. Nitra is completely useless to be mined at this point. It might give us some kind of uh, money for the meta progression thing, but that's relevant. So the quest now is kill three eggs, which, by the way, used to be just kill three eggs and then fight the boss, and you could super duper cheese it. But they changed that and made it so that you have to still kill the three eggs, but this time uh, the eggs break on their own if you don't take your time breaking them, which makes it literally impossible to not spawn the boss. So uh, good on the devs on that one, in my opinion. And I have more things to praise the devs for. Uh, by the way, I don't care about these. I want to level up my main weapons. Let's roll these. Uh, I guess Boomstick forced on us here. Nitro, as I said, is relevant. I don't know why I'm mining this. Uh, but still, might as well. I think it gives you meta progression. Although, once again, can't really promise. And let's go on. But if you don't know everything about the game. <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's pick up gold for rerolls. Maybe I'm going to be able to level up the sniper to unlock the um, keystone passive for it. Which I would really like to be able to so I can future-proof my runs. Is there any reason to mine through these as I'm doing? I don't think so. Let's try to find meta progs. There is an egg there that I definitely want to avoid. As uh, I would like the egg to break on its own. And we found one of the more rare and more important meta progression upgrades, which is specifically these little things. I don't remember what they're called, but these are very important in my book. As they are, uh, this Enor Pearl. These are unlock you the luck. The, yeah, luck. Man, this is a full on rich zone. Let's continue on mining everything. I'm even getting XP from this. I'm even getting money, gold, and everything else I might need. Continue mining through. And here we go. Destroy the opponents. I mean, leveling up is important to get what I want. Uh, I'm gonna see reroll these in case I can find my sniper shot. Here we go. Fire rate. <laughs> there's a fire rate. I mean, I said I would take this, but not at this point. Not now. Now I would like to find a paint job for my sniper to level it up two times and get the quest done. Chance of us getting that's pretty slim, but once again, who cares? Oh no. I hope we're not gonna break the egg by mistake. Uh, theoretically, we shouldn't break the egg by mistake. But you never know. Uh, I think I just need to break... No, I guess I need to break more than this. I need to do the perfect break here. Let's go. Now it's possible to come. Uh, the best case scenario here would be either XP on mining or gold on mining. Gold on mining, XP on mining. We're gonna go XP on mining because, once again, the main thing I want right now is to level up. One more sniper level up, 15 damage. And if I can find one more sniper level up, I will be doing the side objective, which allows us to get the good snipers. The not the good sniper is what I'm talking about. Uh, what this is gonna give us? It's gonna give us the overclock on the sniper, which, as I said, is important. I think I explored the whole map. I think the yeah, I think I did explore the whole map, and in the same vein, I also think the map is pretty small. Nope, there is a zone over there missing. I really enjoy that we have a map that we can just look into, but the zone missing is irrelevant. So we're pretty much done here. Now I just need to kill swarm opponents. So that I can um, get levels. And then there's that. And then we're done. Then we beat the boss and it's over. Let's also get these red ones. These are also pretty rare. Uh, they're not as good as the Enor Emerald or whatever it was called are. Let's continue mining. Real speed. No, we're going to reel this. Uh, reel and everything. No, I, I want my sniper. Here we go. 50% fire rate. And now I just got the achievement here. Upgrade M Classic to level 12. Which, in order, gives us access to the mods on it, the, the super mods. Okay, and now there is no real reason to continue staying here. I cleared out the whole map. I also got my meta progression thing that I wanted. Let's rush over to the boss. Although I could try to XP as much as possible. The boss is gonna spawn anyway. 50% damage, 50% fire rate. I would like to reroll into an everything upgrade. Uh, yeah, 9% reload speed and everything. I guess. I'm staying here in the middle trying to destroy all the opponents around us because, you know, we're playing uh, Bullet Heaven, so Bullet Heaven away. 
Well, let's have our A. And the boss is here. Which is gonna start making the opponents become more and more dangerous, by the way. Wow, only the weapon I'm using. I'm gonna go damage. It did a jump. As long as I'm close to this thing, it's gonna slowly dwindle to death and die. Do a jump. <laughs> Jumped over to the other side. No opponents really close enough for us to lose DPS. All my DPS is going towards the boss. Do the jump. Whee! <laughs> by the way, this thing is mining for you. And uh, we won right here. Boom, cleared. Let's go. It's not time to play another character because I think this did really, really not feel like 30 minutes. Off we go. So where are we, time-wise? 30 minutes down, exactly 30 minutes. Wow, I got a final level here. Maybe, oh, I guess fire rate on the weapon I'm not using. Yeah, this is exactly 30 minutes. Well, that's how fast we're gonna run this, to be honest. These are gonna be super duper small series where I'm gonna just be rushing through the game. Golden trip tip bullet, new artifact unlocked. That's when you get the supply pod. And I also unlocked the classic or the overload on the clam classic. And I unlocked the mod for the scout. And that's pretty much it. Once again, I would like to do another run because I really feel like I want to play more right now. But it's not possible because I do have to actually go to my lessons. So, um, yeah, that's that pretty much. So, upgrades uh, is the meta progression. And I wanted to mention here before I go that they did the following thing that I find extremely awesome. Which I suggest, by the way, you can buy these. You can buy the rare resources. Like, if you continue... You level this up fully and you don't need these. By the way, they also made them very easy to distinct. Uh, do you see how these are lined here? This is literally the resources you need to for, to get them. For example, these two specifically need the green, these ones. The um, I don't know what they're called, honestly. Uh, this one needs these greenish with purple. These ones need the pearls. These ones need uh, the other green ones. These ones need the reds. These need the other green ones, right? And you can sell them for 200 and buy them for 400, which is, in my opinion, fair enough that you sell and buy for less. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is, in my opinion, a lot better made than what it used to be. Let's get XP and pick up range. Actually, can I de-level? You cannot de-level. Uh, well, if you cannot de-level, I'm definitely going for mining speed here. And uh, I guess damage here, not reload speed. Uh, HP region over max health. And crit chance over crit. I mean, crit damage, because in the game itself, you can get crit chance very easily. And right now, here, here I'm getting 1% crit chance. The common crit chance upgrade in the game is 3%. Here I'm gaining 4% crit damage, and the common crit damage upgrade in the game I think is 5%, so I think this is not worth it. I think this should be 2% per level. This is okay, 4% per level. 10 max life, 1 HP region, I don't care. And this is the luck I was talking about, higher chance to get lucky, uh, better upgrades. This is the most important upgrade. I'm never, ever, ever gonna level up uh, defense. I'm always leveling up uh, mining, uh, luck, whatever it's called. Once again, mining speed is better than movement speed, in my opinion. So in general, I think we're gonna stick to what we have here. Uh, yeah, I'm super excited about this. I, I'm not super excited, super happy that they made this and you no longer have to mix and match resources to get leveled up. And I'm also super happy that you have access to all the classes, so we will be playing a lot more. And just to be clear, I unlocked this here. I unlocked, gives access to light weapons, uh, and then plus 25% dodge. When dodging, enemy damage, 35% movement speed, 35 reload speed for 5 seconds. So this guy is, I mean, definitely better than 10 movement speed flat and 20 max health. So, uh, that's nice. And, uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm most likely gonna play with the gunner to showcase a completely new weapon and a passive, honestly, because the previous class didn't even have a passive. And one day after that, we're gonna also play with engineer that has turrets, which are, in my opinion, very powerful. And at the same time, I'm also gonna showcase the other stay. I didn't want to go to the stage. Uh, can I just straight up leave here? Abort the mission? Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, and then I will also showcase the different stages, the lava and the hollow uh, bot. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I hope you guys are excited to see what's going to happen tomorrow. And as I said, I'm going to try to make a mini-series out of it. Or if not a mini-series, I guess a mini-run. Like, yeah, smaller videos than my normal one-hour ones. That's what I'm thinking about this. So I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.